Today the church remembers Columba, abbot of Iona. Born a son of the royal house of Ulster at Kilcrenan in Donegal in about the year 521, Colm, whose name means dove, had such a devotion to the things of God as a child that he was nicknamed Colm Seal, dove of the church. Columba was trained as a monk by Finian and then founded several monasteries himself, including that of Kells, before leaving Ireland to settle on Iona off the coast of Scotland. He was accompanied by 12 companions and the numbers grew as the monastic life became more established and well known. Columbus seems to have been an austere and at times harsh man who repeatedly mellowed with age. He was concerned with building up both the monastery and its life and enabling them to be instruments of mission in a heathen land. He converted kings and built churches. I only became a starting point for the expansion of Christianity throughout Scotland. In the last four years of his life, when his health had failed, he spent the time transcribing books of the Gospels for them to be taken out and used. He died on this day in the year 597. Almighty God, who filled the heart of Columba with the joy of the Holy Spirit and with deep love for those in his care, may your pilgrim faith follow him, strong in faith, sustained by hope, and one in the love that binds us to you. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So we give thanks for that burgeoning Celtic Christianity, which was so important in spreading the faith of Christ in our, in our nation, and particularly those monks that came from Ireland to Iona, and for the establishment of the monastic community on Iona, which still goes strong today. May God give you grace to follow his saints in faith and hope and love. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.